miles from nowhere. I think it's amazing how lucky we are to be in our profession and have uh, movies. Uh, to remember people with. Because when you see these pieces of Hal's pictures, you, you see his modesty, his uh, honesty, his humor, his uh, irreverence, his impatience with hypocrisy, his love of people. These are qualities that are all reflected both in the subjects that he chose to deal with and in the way that he dealt with them. From nowhere, I guess I take my time. There was almost like a spiritual something about him. Hal created such an inclusive environment. It almost felt like, you know, you were all impulses in the same brain. That's kind of how he made you feel. He wasn't at all the kind of person that I expected. Not quite Hollywood. He had his long gray hair and this wonderful long gray beard and this eternal smile on his face. If you think about any of Hal Ashby's films, you're going to find discussion of class, you're going to find discussion of race. He wanted people clearly to love one another when society's tried to keep them apart. Hal Ashby is a warning story. I mean, that scared me. He had uh, problems with authority. He went off the deep end. He became so committed to freedom of expression. I think the films of Hal Ashby have had an enormous effect on most of the great filmmakers that we admire. To me, he's totally in the pantheon. 10 or 11 features, seven in the 70s that are just an astonishing string of masterpieces. We all look to those movies as the best movies ever made. I love everything. I'll take my time. Oh, yeah, to reach there.